Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Legacy the Gamer. First and foremost, I do have to apologize to you all again for taking that pretty long hiatus. I know I've been gone for a while, but I promise I have a valid excuse. I graduated from college last spring and, you know, been kind of on the hunt for jobs per se, and I did find a job back in my hometown. So I've been getting acclimated to working these crazy hours and everything, and it's a pretty cool job. I'm actually a trainer at an Orange Theory Fitness in my hometown so it's a pretty cool thing great money and things of that criteria but anywho i'll leave that jazz for another video pretty much what brings me here today i kind of want to have a little rant per se i'd say that the switch we have a couple fighting games for it here and there it's a great console i mean i love it to death i take my switch everywhere with me but 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 i love fighting games man and I'm just not talking your regular 2D fighter and no disrespect to those 2D fighters. I think they are great and they have an audience, but fighting games that appeal to me are more of your traditional three dimensional arcade style fighting games. And I actually have a little top five list of fighting games that I would like to see on the Switch. Are they possible to be ported to the Switch or have their own Switch edition per se? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Regardless, look, I just want to go ahead and drop a list of my top fighting games that I would love to see on the Switch, and this list is in no particular order. I would say that the first game I would like to see on the Switch, first and foremost, my favorite fighting game series, the Tekken series. Dude, I freaking grew up on Tekken. In fact, Tekken 1 was, I want to say, one of my first two or three games I've ever even owned back when I had a PlayStation 1. It's crazy now that I think about it, man. I grew up on Tekken, and I mean, Tekken pretty much speaks for itself. A robust cast of characters on there. I believe Tekken 7 has over 35 characters on there, plus more characters are rolling out via DLC. I mean, the Tekken series speaks for itself. It's a great fighter, it's smooth. Anybody can just pick up and play, learn combos, things of that criteria. And I've always loved Tekken because it was one of those games that didn't have a steep learning curve for me. I could pick it up, I've, you know, pretty much found out how to play with three to five characters and I can rock out any given day in Tekken. In fact, I just picked up Tekken 7 for the PS4 not too long ago here because, you know, life took over. Didn't have a chance to get it when it dropped out in June, but I found it on sale and dude, I am rolling online. I am destroying people left and right. Not the greatest player by any means, but it's one of those things I think will fit perfectly on the Switch. And I mean, dude, I know it can happen. I know for a fact it can happen simply because, I mean, look, Nintendo was able to render a 3DS version of a Tekken fighting game that ended up being pretty decent. I believe it was called Tekken Prime. Don't quote me on that, but it ended up being a pretty decent game overall. If we can get Tekken on the Switch, that'd be freaking awesome. I'm behind it. I know why it hasn't happened already yet, but you know, that's again, that can be explained in another video or I'll drop a link down below to a video explaining why Tekken 7 is not on the Switch. Moving on to another game that I would probably say that's in one of my favorite lists. I would have to say the Dead or Alive series. I would love to see the Dead or Alive series on the Nintendo Switch. Why? Because anybody can pick up and play Dead or Alive and look like a freaking G when they play it. Because the combos are so robust. And, I mean, look. You can press a couple buttons and make a combo look sweet. I mean, Dead or Alive just always had that natural flow. Again, it's another 3D arcade style fighter. It's a great game and I think it is perfect. Wait, it is? No, correction. It would be perfect if it was on the Switch. I think that'd be awesome. Can they do it? Does the Switch have the power to run it? Uh, yeah, of course it does. Dude, if the PS Vita can run its own rendition of Dead or Alive 5, I know for a fact the Switch has enough horsepower to do so. That's just pretty much up to the developers to do that. Who's behind that? I think Tecmo? Tecmo Koei maybe behind that? I can't recall. I'm horrible. I remember who produces games and things of that criteria, so forgive me on that. Don't quote me on that, but Tecmo Koei, if you guys are in charge of the Dead or Alive series, we want to see a Switch edition. Wait, I want to see a Switch edition. I don't know if everybody else does, but guys, if you're behind me on that, Tweet at them fools. Tell them you want to see your own Switch edition here. That would be awesome. I would say the third game on my list, again, in no particular order, the Bloody Roar series, man. Whatever happened to that? The last Bloody Roar game I played was, I want to say, Bloody Roar Primal Fury back on the GameCube. And Bloody Roar was a fun game to me. I mean, the combos were simplistic. 
but I just love being able to transform into some weird type of animal or some creature thing like I mean there was a girl that transformed into a bunny a guy that transformed into a mole I mean those are animals you don't even think about but somehow bloody roar found a way to make them cool and again like I said the combos were pretty much plain Jane if you want to say but the game worked the game had a pretty good audience and I think the game sold pretty well back in this PlayStation 1 PlayStation 2 days could we see another bloody roar I doubt it I don't know if anybody would be willing to revive the series i don't know if there's a big enough fan base for it but if somehow some way bloody roar came back from the dead i would love to see it on the switch i mean dude taking a fighting game on the go how much better could it get than that go ahead you're at the airport bust out both of those joy cons and get the going on that little screen i mean yeah it's a little screen but who cares man fighting game on the go that is awesome anyways i got off track let me get back on topic here moving on the fourth fighting game that I would like to see, or the fourth series I'd like to say, that would be cool to have on the Switch, the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series. Yo, if they could drop that Naruto Legacy Collection on the Switch, I will buy it right away. Well, Legacy, why would you do that if you already have all the Ultimate Ninja Storm games for the PlayStation 3 and 4? Look, dude, Naruto is probably one of my favorite anime. I'm sorry, look crucify me for that whatever i don't care quick little side note sorry i'm slurring over my words here and there it's late at night i'm tired i want to go to bed but i wanted to drop this video i needed to let me get back on topic here dude naruto i love it i love it i love it i love it i still play ultimate ninja storm 4 all the stinking time man and ah, gosh just being able to play as my favorite characters Hashirama Senju, I mean Sasuke Uchiha, Obito Uchiha, Madara Uchiha, I mean dude, yeah, I'm sorry I'm biased on the Uchiha clan, that's just the way it is, sue me for it, but still just being able to play Naruto on the go, dude, sign me up for it, sign me up, the probability of this happening is probably low, let's be honest, it probably is, let's say what if Naruto got its own rendition for the Switch? I would be totally behind that, absolutely. And you know what, I gotta backtrack a little bit. Who says that it's not possible? If they can port Xenoverse 2 over to the Switch and have it run really great, yes, who cares if the battles beyond 1v1 are 30 frames per second. Dude, honestly, whenever I'm playing on a go, I don't even pay attention to that. Sorry, I'm not a frame rate whore, but I think things run totally fine. I have little to no problems with Xenoverse 2 on the go, other than Toki Toki City, the frame rate dipping below you know 25 frames or so every so often again it's toki toki city i don't care it's not the fighting the fighting is all i'm worried about that is totally fine during that time so you know what yeah i hold you guys to a higher standard if xenoverse 2 can come over why can't the naruto ultimate ninja storm series come over i'm demanding that dude come on man and lastly i mean this is kind of obvious right the Injustice series. Give me the Injustice series over on the Nintendo Switch. Now I know Ed Boon does have some interest in that Nintendo Switch, especially with it selling like hotcakes left and right. Ed Boon is somebody that I know for a fact wouldn't be afraid to port a Mortal Kombat game over. I mean, we have Mortal Kombat Advance for the Game Boy Advance. Okay, who cares that it wasn't that good? They brought it over, didn't they? You know what I mean? We had a Mortal Kombat game, I want to say for the Vita, for the PSP. All the handhelds have had some rendition of a Mortal Kombat game. Why wouldn't the Switch? I mean, we're already showing that the Switch can't tailor to mature audiences with games like Doom and Wolfenstein 2 coming out. Dude, Injustice 2, that can definitely happen. Ed Boon, dude, please tell me you got something cooking in the lab behind the scenes. We can find a way to make it work. Let's do whatever we can to port that over. Because look, Injustice is a great game, and let's say you're one of those people that do love fighting games with a learning curve, like the recent Mortal Kombat games, or of course like Injustice. Injustice 2 is your game, and you could take it with you on the go. That would be absolutely awesome. I'm a fan of it. Definitely. Guys, and I know there are many, many more fighting games out there like Marvel vs. Capcom and Guilty Gear and things of that criteria. Of course, Street Fighter. I mean, everybody likes Street Fighter War. You know, people have a love-hate relationship with it, per se. There are a lot of other fighting games that will be awesome to see on the Switch, too. Look, all these fighting games coming out, developers, do not neglect that Nintendo Switch. You have a audience over there. 
or let me rephrase that you have an audience over there let me be you know grammarly correct here you have an audience over on that nintendo switch tailor to it trust me you will get the sales do what you have to do to port that over or to make a rendition for the switch if you have to cut minor corners here or there a couple textures blurry here or there as long as the character models are good and the fights are buttery smooth that's all that i'm sure we all care about i can't reference xenoverse 2 enough xenoverse 2 is nice it looks great gosh i mean they did a wonderful job with that developers if you guys can port something over similar to the quality of xenoverse 2 we will take it and i mean guys i mean who doesn't want more fighting games on the go come on now come on now <laughs> anyways guys look that's all that i have for you guys do you guys have any other fighting games in particular you'd like to be ported over to the switch and of course i'm not talking about super smash bros and things of that criteria we already know that that's coming later on down the road nintendo is smart they want that money super smash bros is on the way whether if it's new or whether if they port over the wii u version dude it is on the way i can promise you that I'm talking about, you know, those 3D fighting games and whatnot. So, guys, if you have any other fighting games, per se, that you'd like to see ported over, drop them in a comment below. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for checking me out. Please like, comment, and please subscribe. Legacy the Gamer is back this time. I'm done BSing with you guys. I'm done taking my hiatus. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I found a hole in my work schedule. We can make this happen. I promise you, people. I promise you. Again, like I said before, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell thingy down there to let you know when I post a new video. And until next time, yo, Legacy the Gamer is out. Peace.